Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis, my friends, live from Post Commons in Alton, Illinois. Always such a great time when we are on the road. And all week, we've been exploring everything that Southwest Illinois has to offer as part of National Travel and Tourism Week. But now, it's time to learn a little history, my friends. I made a wardrobe change during the break. We're going to talk about some famous explorers. Maybe you've heard of them. Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark, that ring. Oh, yeah, I drove over their bridge, yeah. I think, to get here yeah. this morning. So excited to have Mr. Brad Wynn, the site superintendent at Lewis and Clark State Historic Site here to tell us more about it. Brad, how are you, my I'm friend? I'm great. How are you this Thanks morning? for bringing the new dance Absolutely. Forming. You know, I thought, you know, maybe a wardrobe change would be in order for this right. very auspicious interview. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, I need to lose a few to well, button it. Well, you know. That's okay. Is they the, didn't wear this all. This was a very dress uniform. Right. So, so tell me a little bit about Lewis and Clark's relationship to this particular area that we're in right now. So you're a Metro East guy. I am. Yeah. Okay. So Lewis and Clark basically spent the winter here in the Alton area and in, in the Wood River and Hartford area specifically. Uh, this is where their, their first winter camp was. So Lewis and Clark needed to kind of get ready. This is where they gathered all the supplies they were going to need. Mm -hmm. This is where they selected the men that were going to make up the expedition. This is where they got their last minute kind of details in order. And then on May 14th, so what, two weeks ago, I guess, we're about that. May 14th, yeah. 1804, they started their expedition that would take two and a half years. So really, the core of discovery, the makeup of that expedition was born right here in the River Bend. This was the staging area. This, this was, was the launching it. point. Absolutely, yeah. It was essential to the success of the trip. Everything that happened after that really tends to, to lean on their preparations made here in our area. And thankfully for us in the modern era, their journaling, their yeah. archiving, their uh, their database when, right. in a time that, that where that wasn't even a term right. was so thorough. Yeah. You can tell me exactly where they were on this date. Absolutely. Right? So 220 years ago, because we're 1804, wow. 220 years there in Franklin County, Missouri, on the Missouri River. Okay. They've crossed over past St. Charles. They left St. Charles on the 21st of May. So they're moving their way up at about eight to ten miles. Uh, going against the current. Going against the current. You're exactly right. right. I mean, imagine pulling that boat up river I against. Can't. I don't know. How now, apparently the winds this day were not exactly in favor for them. Mm. They were at a place that was labeled locally the Devil's Racetrack. So I don't know what that is <laughs> on the Missouri. The world that Locals means. can tell us probably what that is, but <laughs> right. they're just south of Washington, uh, Washington, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently they had a lot of trouble with not only the current, the boat almost tipped. Mm. But the day before, and I think you know this story, yes. Lewis was on a bluff overlooking the Missouri River. Uh, he gets a little too close to the edge. I don't know if he was taking a selfie, or if he was on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure it is a grabbable moment. It was for you know? social. It yeah. was. I'm it's sure for social media. They were, they, were, they were posting the entire time. <laughs> but I he think. takes a tumble. He, he takes, takes a, big a tumble spill. and falls off the, off the bluff, Matt. And, yeah. and you know, you and I, I think we're talking a minute ago. Had I done that, I would have probably just life passed before right. me. It's I'm over. Done. What Toast. does Lewis do? Grabs his dagger out of his, out of his belt and jams it into the side of the bluff. So, you know, who um, does that? That's MacGyver. That is That's Hollywood. a MacGyver move. Yeah, it's That's crazy. a MacGyver move. So, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, and so that preparation here in Illinois, that preparation leads, I think, absolutely. Let's, let's credit that. Let's sure. absolutely credit <laughs> Lewis's preparation here in Illinois to have the wherewithal to do yes, that. Yes, we are a starting point for hardy adventurers. It is, That's absolutely, the way to put it. yeah. Tell me a little bit about what folks would actually see if they went to the Lewis and Clark Historic Center. So our museum is, is uh, 22 years old now. We opened in 2002 just at the cusp of the bicentennial. It's a 14,000 mm -hmm. square foot facility. The main focus of our museum is the keel boat. So you know, Matt, I, I grew up basically, and, and I don't, I, I won't, I won't guess on our age, but but I will say that I grew up on something called Schoolhouse Rocks, right? Oh yes, yes. So yes. I always thought it was just two guys in a canoe just paddling <laughs> their way, and Chicago is at the front. But they've got this massive 55 foot long keel boat. That is the flagship of their expedition, and our museum is built entirely around this one exhibit. So when visitors come, they get right up and close and see that. Now the folks and our friends over in St. Charles do a great job showing the the, the reconstruction of those boats that they use, but you can't get any closer to a, a really a replica of the expedition's boat and then see all the materials. They brought 30 tons of cargo with them. They had Amazing. three boats when they left, 30 tons of cargo when they left Illinois. I would have to imagine you have uh, history buffs and just casual fans alike coming from all over. Where do people come from? Clarkies. We'll call them Clarkies. Clarkies? 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 I love Absolutely. it. I love so it. Clarkies. Yeah, I mean, we are uh, international. It's amazing how popular Lewis and Clark is. I mean, it's one of these fascinating stories that links our region all the way to the Pacific Coast and back. So we're super excited in the summer because we meet a lot of these people that are coming from all over the world. I'm always amazed, and I'm always amazed too what the draw is to the expedition. It's the rivers. I mean, we take for granted we're right with so a stone's right. throw Absolutely from the river, but right. we cross that bridge yeah. every day. 
it's right there. They want to see the river. Could not agree yeah. more. I want everybody to make plans to stop by the Lewis and Clark Historic Site when you are here exploring Southwest Illinois. And it's a treasure trove, no, no doubt about it. To learn more or for some help planning your visit, go to riversandroutes.com.